thought the storyline was very impactful and it just goes to show that anyone can be radicalised, you know. Doesn't matter who you are, where you come from or what journey in life has been up to in this point. It just proves that anyone who's anyone can be radicalised. My journey in the far right began in high school. A friend of mine, he was in the far right, and through him I got invited to a social media group. And it kind of felt like it was always us against them. Not just in terms of us being white people against other people, in terms of like our friendship group against authority. And I think just that very anti-authoritarian mentality really coincided with the far right mentality. For me, where kind of the racist mentality came in was when I seen a post of the group which said, if you think British soldiers shouldn't be on the street, share this post. And for me, I have an uncle that served in Iraq and when he came home, he had a lot of problems with drugs and alcohol and things. And at the time, I didn't think he could get help and support. But in reality, he just didn't want it at that time in his life. And the people in the far right group kind of said, well, the only reason soldiers don't get help is because Muslims and immigrants are taking all the money. And that's really where that really, you know, almost foundation layer of that far right mentality, you know, started with me. In all honesty, it did take me a good while to realise I was involved in something wrong. Um, you know, it took me a good couple of years later when I first started going to the demos, really. That's when I started like to realise that what I was involved in was quite dangerous. I started falling out with some really close family members. I was always quite paranoid that people would recognise me from going to the demonstrations. And there's actually a documentary by Professor Green and he said, you know, he was at a demo that I was at. And he actually said in the documentary, most of these people here don't actually believe in what they're saying. They're just very angry people that are using the far right as a way to vent their anger. And I really related to that. And then Prevent came and that was kind of the final thing that I needed to get me to leave, really. <laughs> 